In this video, I want to demonstrate a feature of Hook Deck called Bookmarks. Now with an account in Hook Deck, you have a retention period of, of, of data. With Bookmarks, you can store an event, so a payload of data, to use later. This is really useful in three different scenarios that I can think of, there are maybe more. One, you're in development. You've got common scenarios where there's an event you want to trigger quite frequently without having to go through the process of, say, sending yourself an SMS and receiving the Twilio payload or triggering something within Shopify or creating a fake payment uh, within Stripe. So instead, you can trigger that event for the first time and then store it as a bookmark to use later. So that, in development, that's really useful. Secondly, in CICD, maybe during automated testing, in those scenarios, you want to be able to trigger these common or like edge case um, events as part of your automated integration testing. Thirdly, you might have a, uh, a production deployment and, and an edge case event takes place and something goes wrong. You might want to be able to capture that event, um, bookmark it, and then test it out in your local development environment. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the latter. So here I've got a live deployed application. I'm going to trigger an event. In this example, we take an MP3, we send it to an AI API called Replicate. Replicate will transcribe that content and then we'll get a webhook callback. In this scenario, it will probably succeed. <laughs> Let's hope. So if I go into my events and I refresh, we'll see this event has appeared um, and that's been transcribed. Great. Now, in this case, it succeeded. That's fantastic. Well, what, what happens if something went wrong and it really did fail? So what I can do here is with this event selected, I can bookmark it. Um, I have actually happen to know this is Gangnam style. So I'm going to save that. Now, if I go into my bookmarks, you'll see I've got three bookmarks selected. Here, long audio and MP3 send from the replicate source to the CLI destination click into my connections, you'll see I've got a CLI destination for my local host development environment. The Gangnam Style one is set to deliver from the source replicate to the uh, this production endpoint or deployed endpoint, I should say. However, I can edit that so that it's not going to this production endpoint, it's instead going to my CLI destination. Well, notice it says connections deleted. The reason that's happening is because I don't have my CLI connected right now. So instead, if I go over here, and I connect my CLI, jump into CLI view just to make sure that's been connected. Let me refresh this. There we go. The bookmarks now, we can see this is available. If I uh, open up over here, see there's no logging. And then go back into to the bookmarks view and click replay on CLI. This is actually failing locally. <laughs> Connection refused. All ah, right, my app's not running. So here I need to run my application back over here. Oh, I can trigger this, uh, trigger this again, replay on CLI. So that failed twice, obviously, because my app wasn't running. Jump back over here and we'll see that's been deployed. And so uh, it's been, we'll see that's been delivered. So bookmarks are this really cool feature that, so in development, I can capture these, uh, common events that I want in CICD. I can actually use the API and trigger events um, in these common scenarios. And also from that production environment where, okay, there's this edge case, this problem that I've not, not seen in development. And instead I want to bookmark that um, and then change where the, that's, that event's going to be delivered and test in local development. So that's an overview, a little overview of bookmarks with a specific uh, scenario driven into a little bit. Hope that was useful.